So we've gotten our first few leads and we've had some issues in the past with people calling us back. But we've been following up with them and we finally got somebody, uh, a guy on the line here with a potential deal. And we wanted to run a couple points by you since this is the first time we've gotten numbers. Um, the property, he owns the property free and clear. Purchase price would be 30000 I talked him down from his original asking price of thirty eight. Um, the ARV on the home, from what we can see on PropStream and the other sites, is around sixty three thousand six hundred. Uh, he doesn't owe, like I said, he doesn't owe a mortgage. It's a free and clear home that he owns. He, I talked him down on the monthly payment to five hundred a month with a seven thousand dollar move out uh, money up front that he needs because he needs to find a new place. Market rent, our main issue with market rent is it, it's all over the place. PropStream says it's 620, but Zillow and Realtor and Real Estate ABC say closer to around 900, like 850 to 900. So that's a huge spread and our that would really affect our monthly cash flow on the deal because we also are responsible for taxes and insurance, obviously, which would make our payment 715 a month to hold the property um, if we don't have renters in it. So that's a pretty slim profit margin. Our main question is, since we're getting the house for less than half of the ARV, even though we may, it, depending on the rental rate we get, we may not make a huge amount of cash flow on the front end, the cash out on the back end would be pretty substantial. So we were just wondering how this deal sounds overall to you and um, if, if you have suggestions for us. Um, how much work does the house need? What's the condition? So the condition of the house is, it's, he says it's perfectly livable. Pending a, pending a walkthrough. Yeah, we schedule, yeah, we schedule the video walkthrough for Tuesday. So he's an older gentleman who gave me a laundry list of the improvements that he's made to the home. Nothing major as far as like roof is good. Um, it, it is wood heat, which is like pellet wood heat. Oh. Yeah. So I don't know if that it's, makes it's, a little... It's going to be like a it's in northern, niche, like real... Yeah, situation. northern New York. So it doesn't need a whole lot of air conditioning, but um, he said the wood heat is cheaper. So um, kind of weird on that. Other weird thing that made it, it difficult to calculate like a true ARV is that he says the property is 2,100 square feet, but all the other, all the major sites listed as a, a 1,176. So I it has a basement, so I imagine the, and the basement is not finished, so that doesn't count as square footage. So personally, this just sounds like a deal I would not do. Really? The, the, yeah. all, because of all those things about the house you just mentioned and the numbers are bad. Yeah. Okay. You don't pay $7,000 on a $30,000 house. That's over 20% down. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Even if we can sell uh, it to a tenant buyer for, for like 63000 Nope. Because you're you're you you want to live if you're doing this as a flip business you want to live on that front end, so if you're putting seven out you're not going to get you know maybe you can get ten, maybe, maybe um, probably back, five, maybe. yeah probably more like five for a small house. Um, you're not going to you're going to be upside down and then the monthly is iffy and there's work. I would never give any money to anybody on a house that needs work. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you need to run, if you're going to do that, you're looking at almost like a case sale. You got to look at it like that. Run your ARV numbers. Take the 63 times 60% less the estimated cost to rehab. You also have this issue of he's calling 2,100 and everybody else showing 1,100. That means mm -hmm. everybody else is right and he's wrong. Remember, all sellers will lie. So that's rule number one out there. Whatever they tell you, just figure it's a lie. I think he's counting the basement. He can count whatever he wants. It only counts what the county assessor has. Right. The tax people. That's the only thing that really matters. So your buyer is going to be an FHA buyer maybe. Um, and they're not going to, FHA won't loan on an unpermitted addition. So 
you're, you're, you're buying an 1100 square foot house for $30,000 paying 7,000 down. I just wouldn't do it. Yeah. I just passed. Look, there's, there's going to be there's a lot better much deals. better deals right around the corner. Lots. Okay. That's now, good. having said all problem. that, <laughs> sorry, having said all that, kudos to you guys for getting this far in the process. Now, the next time, you're going to get a little bit farther and a little bit farther, and, little, and then pretty soon, you'll just be rolling. So One thing good. you could do, rather than throwing that dude over the back fence, is you can tell him, here's what we'll do. And just you know, throw it out there, and, and you don't care whether you get it or not. So yeah. do something. Listen, you need repairs. You've got this square footage issue. Um, the house is not in the best shape. Yep, it's livable, et cetera. But the best we'll do is we'll buy it $30,000. you are going to carry it at $300 a month, not five. Um, and you know, if you need you know, $700 to move, we'll give you that where we'll get some kids from college in a U-Haul on Saturday and we'll move you out ourselves. <laughs> and that's it. And we're not paying you anything. And just get, you know, the, the, the better that you can portray, you don't need this deal to the seller, the more likely you are to get them to accept it. It's weird okay. like that, but if you're cocky and arrogant in this business on stuff like that and you mean it, you can walk. Um, Jeff's really good at that. I'm, yeah, this I have expertise in cocky and arrogant. So you just tell them, <laughs> this is what it is, man. And this, is, and this is it. And I could give a crap whether you take it or not. Um, okay. you know, here's the deal. Because there's a bunch of them out here. They're all over the place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Poor guy is like, I don't think he's going to come down anymore on the moving out price. though. He, he, he may not today. But remember, all sellers' minds change with time and circumstance. And so he may not today. But two or three weeks from now, he's going to get all puckered up because he's not going to get anybody else going to take that deal or anything close to that. And, you know, there's too many beautiful houses that are in the hands of desperate sellers that don't need any work, that have big cash flows. So they're just, they're, they're all over the place. Okay. And this is just not one of them. You're working hard on it to get it. But now's the yeah. time to turn up the arrogant flame and say, this is it. <laughs> you know, this is all there is. I all she can do haggled she can do with it. him. Yeah, you've done a great job of haggling so far. <laughs> you can just go back. You can, you, know, you can go back to him and say, you know, I, I ran it by my partners. And they think you're full of crack. You're on crack. You're on meth, whatever. And this is the best we can do. Okay. You know? All right. And Sounds take good. it or leave it. We don't care. Thank <laughs> you.